Okay, Bob, a little bit dark and dreary again today for St. Patty's Day. Look at the website. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of fun facts St. Patrick's Day, a few Irish facts <laughs> for the day to impress your friends and co-workers. She's been My friends and co-workers. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's get right to the uh, St. Patty's Day <laughs> forecast. Well, it's kind of uh, gone sideways on us a little. We do have a chance of some uh, light showers out there, but mainly cloudy in the morning for this afternoon. Clouds, but I think we might actually break out into a little bit of blue sky in between maybe a th rumble of thunder, mainly to the north of us right around three o'clock. And then maybe later on this evening, we could also see uh, some showers nearby. Here is our weather headlines. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody, by the way. Rain and uh, even a thunderstorm, an isolated thunderstorm today. Only a 20% chance for most locations in our viewing area, but uh, a better chance up around McCall, as you'll see. Warm on Friday and a bit unsettled for Saturday. There's a live look at radar as the showers traverse our area from the southwest to the northeast. A few areas of some showers up here around Sun Valley, the Wood River Valley. Haley getting wet as we speak over here in eastern Oregon. They're also looking at some showers. Also just stand in between the showers here. We have uh, some rain there in halfway and also Pendleton getting quite a bit of rain this morning and another batch of some showers down here to the south right around Winnemucca just to the north, just about to move into Malheur County. Fairly quiet around the Boise area, just a little bit of ground clutter, maybe just a smattering of a, a few showers up there in the foothills, but that is about it. Pretty quiet and some dry pavement out there this morning. Right now we have a current temperature of 46 degrees, winds at six miles per hour. Some other temperatures across our region, mountain locations in the 30s where you see the darker blue, the lighter blue or aqua, you see some 40s. Here's our satellite map, a big plume of moisture and it's still trained on the Pacific Northwest. We'll have a low pressure trough move on in along with a cold front moving in later on this afternoon and it could produce an isolated thunderstorm. Right now we just have some hit and miss scattered showers across southwestern Idaho. But as we take a look at our future cast, it's kind of interesting. Here we have uh, pretty much this morning and the possibility of an isolated shower to the north and to the east over there in Malheur County. But look, this is a frontal system that will push across our area. There's 115 in the afternoon. And you might even see a little flash of uh, yellow showing up. That would be a thunderstorm. There we have it in John Day. And as you watch it move across our area, it will kind of move between Boise and McCall. And because of that, they have a better chance of seeing some accumulated rainfall. After that, as we head into Thursday and Friday, just a smattering of some high clouds. But there's our uh, rainfall accumulation. You'll see some blues show up here. They're more favored to see some uh, heavier downpours up there as a passing thunderstorm possibly moves through in that area because there's a little bit more instability in the atmosphere to the north according to our computer model. Cloudy with a chance of some scattered showers. Twin Falls High about 64. For Sun Valley, scattered rain and snow. A chance of an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon. Basically the same thing. Snow level's pretty high though. So any precipitation will probably be rain unless it's in the very highest elevations. Rain showers, isolated thunderstorms, generally just kind of a cloudy day for the Boise area with highs pretty close to 60 degrees. Then we start to clear up on Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, looking especially nice with a high near 73. 30% chance of rain on Saturday. Also quite a bit cooler, but looking pretty good as we start the work week. Kelsey?